it was kind of a shock to us. I, you know, I won't, won't, won't kid anyone. I, when I saw, I was very surprised. It's almost like my eyes weren't registering what I was seeing. I had to sit down, and no one really explained anything to us. It was just, okay, you know, here's your, here's your kid. It was a lot to process all in that one moment when you're, hey, I have my second child. Hey, where's her other hand? It was a lot about uh, bemoaning what she can't do. Mm -hmm. We were just thinking about all the things she can't do or she won't be able to do. And she's proven us wrong. When I was running an architectural firm and a furniture design firm, I was very fortunate in that a lot of my furniture designs were picked up by magazines, Time Magazine and New York Times and all that. It was great at the moment, but it was ultimately for me, it was not very fulfilling. Luckily, I was young enough that I still had time to sort of make a change. It's important that students see another type of work, that design is more than just aesthetics and uh, making things look cool, that it's, it's really can be about, you know, creating change and, and having some impact in people's lives. I met Violet's family through my kids. My two girls played basketball with Violet and I became Facebook friends with uh, her mom and her mom put out a post asking if anyone knew anything about uh, 3D printing. I, I dabble in 3D printing. I have a couple of my, of my own uh, and I've been, I've been doing a lot with digital fabrication of all different types. And so I, I answered the post and we met and uh, yeah, we were able to put this project together. The, the Mad Lab is a new facility. Uh, it's filled with uh, laser cutters and 3D printers. And Ryan Mandel, who runs the lab there, he was a pretty important collaborator on this project. It's always great to do these projects with someone who knows the technologies and is sympathetic towards the, the goal of the project. things that we've tried, it did seem like it just got in her way in whatever it was that she was trying to do, whether it be just playing or riding or riding a bike or swimming. Finally, when she was about five, we just felt like she's just better off with that one. Oh, good, good. Well, I think, it's not uh, falling off? No. If it's fitting okay, then we're gonna make, we're gonna keep it the same size. Well, after the first prototype, she redesigned it. Uh, she made, she chose the color. She added a little star to to the the back of the hand. Even though it fit well, there was a lot of tinkering that still had to be done. I'd like to see her ride a bike because I'd like to ride bikes with her before I get too old. Um, <laughs> before she gets too old and only wants to drive a car, <laughs> so that would be good. Definitely playing an instrument. That's something that she's been interested in, and this definitely will make it easier for her. To me, I'm. I'm just so blessed to have her as our little girl, and she's an amazing kid. So we got your design, and we followed it exactly. So I'm speechless. Great. The reason that I do the work that I do is is because I want. To be meaningful, right? and I know the power of design, and I know it can be, can have major impact. You know, it's not changing the world, but hopefully, it's changing, you know, someone's life. <laughs>